down there. Hi you guys, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. I'm going to warn you guys right now, this video is going to be a little graphic. Graphic for if you are very sensitive to things. So if you're not going to like this video or, or come into it with a open mind and a sense of humor, you might as well click away. Sorry if I offend anyone, if this is too raunchy for you. Sometimes you have to have a little fun with this. So... Living in Germany is a lot of fun. Speaking German is also a lot of fun. Learning the differences between English and German is very fun. But the most fun that I get out of learning this language is learning that there are differences in dirty words. And of course I know like the translation for this dirty word and that dirty word. But what I'm saying are these little words that you say in English that mean something totally different in German or vice versa. And that's what this video is going to be about. Let's get right into it. The first one is really just a funny word that I think of or that I hear and it's called pipi mats. I just don't understand why this means penis. I just don't understand how this can correlate to down there. I just, I don't get it. I don't understand German people. Please, if you let me know or if you give me some background information on this, just, you know, let me know. <laughs> the, ne the next words are gonna be dirty. I have used this in my Instagram. I Instagram. I have used this in my YouTube. I use this on my Facebook. And now I feel sort of bad because maybe last month I used this word. Mike told me about it because I'm not one of those people that researches about the dirty words in German. I just don't do that. So I posted an Instagram picture and in, in my caption I wrote anal. Now in German anal. The messages I got from people just circling this word sending me an eggplant and a poop emoji. I'm just like what are they talking about? Mike is like anal means anal sex and I'm just like oh. anal in the United States in English means like you're just like uptight. It's a little negative but you just say to someone that's very like nitpicky or has a problem and always has to complain and they're just anal. All the German people are like, whoa, Haley. <laughs> the next word is going to be Hufe. I believe it's called Hufe. 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 I can't, like a whole. I can't pronounce this word. It's very hard for me. I always get this word confused with how you say a hoof, like the the, <laughs> the foot for a, the, what is it? How, what is the English word? A hoof. A hoof. A, the foot. <laughs> the foot for a cow, a sheep, like those hooves, they have hooves. Yes, I get that word confused with hoofe. Now, hoofe and hoof mean the areola of a boob, you guys. So that area around the nip. The next word is going to be moo moo. <laughs> moo moo, you guys, means in English, for me, my grandma used to call cows moo moo. Yeah, you also wear a moo moo in the United States. If you're a big lady, it's just those big dresses that you can wear that are flowing and they're just easy to put on and everything. And a moo moo's just all around a good thing. Now, in Germany, the first time I said this, I was riding with Mike and we were driving like Richtung Tegansi. And if you're driving Tegansi, there's a bunch of cows just on the side of the road. My favorite animal in the world is like an elephant or a cow. Those two, when I see them, I flip out. I'm like, hello. We see a bunch of cows. House, and what do I do? Get all the moo moos. And Mike, he's riding, he's like, where? He's like, what? He's like stopping the car, he's like freaky, he's like, where are the moo moos? And I'm like, the cows? I'm like, what? No, a moo moo is such a cute word. You guys can't make moo moo dirty. The next word is going to be mops and mopse. When I first said like to clean up to someone I would say like you need to mop or you need like mops or something like this. In English this is just the th clean, the th 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 clean, the thing you clean the floor with. In German, mopse and mops is either a pug or a tit, like a boob, a breast. That's either what the mops means. So I'm just trying to think of how they like put these two together. Like how does a mops and mopse, how do they look similar. I don't think a boob looks like a pug. I just can't imagine a boob on a pug's head or something. It's really funny because you see a bunch of towels here and stuff that have like summertime let the mopsy free and it's just a bunch of pugs just on the towel and I think that's a funny plan where it's German. 
the next two you guys i'm sorry they're gonna be raunchy so i'm just gonna tell you to watch this video with caution the next word is going to be mushy this is one of those words where i look back at the past 2.5 years that i've lived here and how many times i've said mushy in english this is to talk about the consistency and how something feels like you say it's squishy it's mushy and i don't really know the german translation for much mushy so i just say mushy so then one time i was talking to mike he said well just explain it to me in german and i was like yeah it's halt and I'm thinking of the word, and I'm like, it's had mushy. And he's like, what? And I said, you know, like mushy mushy. And he's like, ugh. He's like, Haley. He's like, please stop. And then I asked him why. He said, because that means a girl's at down their area. These people probably think I'm that crazy girl on the street just talking about vagina left and right. I'm like, you know, it feels like vagina, you know? My face is, it feels vagina-y. The last word, you guys. The most embarrassing word that I've ever used in my life to do anything or to say anything. The funniest German word of all time, dirty word, is a rosette. Now, English people, a rosette is like a deco, little rose, stuff that you put, it's like a decoration. It's like you use these little things as decoration things. A rosette in German. If you could think of anal, I just, I feel so awkward saying it, you guys. It's just the little area in your butthole. Like, you know, it's that area back there, the little hole in your butt. That's what it is. That, ugh. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I didn't figure out why you guys call it a rosette. It doesn't look like a rose. That's the last thing I'd want to call my butthole. <laughs> Take these nice, pretty words and you turn them into these dirty things. So when you're hearing German, you're like, oh, the mushy rosette. And you're just like, oh, the squishy rose. And then here it's like, no, your vagina asshole. And you're like, what? <laughs> ah. <laughs> no. It's been very interesting. I'm pretty sure all the German people, if you have American friends or English speaking friends that um, say words like this, that say anal or <laughs> moo moo or mushy or anything like this, they're probably not saying it to be dirty unless they do know what they're saying. But if it's people that are just saying, getting lost in translation, that's probably just trying to use the English words for it and. Yeah, I hope you guys don't take it out on us for all these bad words we're saying. I'm gonna go now. This has been enough dirtiness, dirtiness, dirty, um, dreckig footage for you guys. I will, oh, this video will be, I hope this video does not, like a whole bunch of people don't see this video because that's all I need. My mother's gonna watch this and be so ashamed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and 